Famous Autopsies Part 48, Brian Landry Trigger Warning The monster that is Brian Landry needs no introduction. It seems the entire world is familiar with his crime of murdering aspiring influencer Gabby Petito. When her body was found, he flew the coop, and nobody appeared to know where he was. Vast areas were searched, his parents were interviewed, his cell phone tracked, but it yielded nothing. But then, one day in October, investigators released a vague statement that remains, specifically bone fragments believed to belong to Brian, were found. It sent the masses tailspinning for more facts. People demanded real proof that he was, in fact, dead. So I sit here shocked that I actually now have access to the full report. This is what they found. His right and left maxilla with nine teeth attached, mandible with 15 teeth, multiple skull fragments, multiple facial bone fragments, his left shoulder bones, one metacarpal of a finger on his right hand, several neck vertebrae, three left ribs, one right rib. You get the picture. It wasn't just a few fragments. Luckily, enough teeth were present for identification. Also, plenty of skull and facial bone fragments were found to reconstruct his head. His soft tissue was decomposed, but the cranial reconstruction did reveal a perforating gunshot wound to his head just above and left of his left temple. The resulting skull fracturing from the bullet was also seen. The placement of the wound and resulting fractures are indicative of it being self-inflicted. However, it was far too gone to test for any gunshot residue to 100% confirm. Based on the evidence, he ended it all in a remote, wooded, heavily brushed, swampy area. It was unforgiving terrain, making it difficult to find him. Once dead, wildlife really had their way with him, munching and crunching, gouging and ripping his remains to shreds. Perhaps the only bit of justice served for such a heinous crime, I mean his remains were a mutilated mess. I have so much more information on the investigation and search for him in this report. Let me know if you'd like another video with those details. Famous Autopsies Part 48B, Brian Laundry Part 2, The Saga Continues. Yesterday, I broke down his autopsy report, remains and reconstruction as well as gunshot wound. Today, I'm going to give you the eerie details of how he was found, where, and what the bizarre scene was like. On the morning of October 20th, 2021, scattered remains were discovered in the Carlton Reserve of Northport, Florida. According to a police sergeant, and I quote, a massive search had been ongoing in the reserve for several weeks. First found was a backpack and shoes identified to belong to Brian. Soon, all eyes were averted to the badly scavenged skeletal remains scattered all around the belongings. This is when the FBI and cadaver dogs were called in to locate additional pieces of human. That same day, an odontologist was summoned for identification purposes. This is a specialty specific to forensic dentistry, and this happened fast. This is how they were able to release that he was found so soon his teeth provided an ID. The area where found had recently been swamped with feet of water, which obstructed the search. A pair of green shorts, belt, white metal ring, and handgun were found near the remains. Further away, intermixed with animal remains, was a partially written note and hat. The backpack contained a journal, photos, and a wooden box with a picture of Brian himself, and it was completely dry and free of water damage. That afternoon, a single bullet was found near the death scene. Brian's sister claimed that he was last seen alive over a month prior on September 13th when he left for a hike. She also confirmed that he was right-handed. It appeared that either feral dogs, coyotes, and or raccoons made a lunch of his arms and leg bones. There were gnawing, gouging, and claw marks with fragments missing. Thanks to being nearly decomposed, the stench was mostly gone from the air. 